We told you last week about the ethical dilemma over gene editing. The National Academies of Sciences and Medicine are focused on treating rare diseases, but they're also opening the door to changing genes we inherit from our parents. Joining us now is Dr. Christopher Tollefson, professor of philosophy at the University of South Carolina. Chris, can you explain germline gene editing for us? Sure. Germline gene editing is a technique that takes out short strands of DNA, typically strands with which there's a problem, such as a mutation. It repairs the DNA and then it replaces it. It returns it to the, the human source. So scientists say this type of technology, one example is CRISPR, could be used to treat diseases like muscular dystrophy, blindness, even HIV, but it can also be used as gene enhancement, for instance, to create designer babies. So what are the ethical concerns here? Well, there are a couple of different concerns with that notion of enhancement. One can do enhancement even apart from babies. One could use CRISPR, for instance, to try and make human beings stronger, even at the adult stage. But when we are dealing with human embryos and interventions on human embryos, then the concerns are even stronger. Are we creating uh, a human being for our own purposes? Are we designing it according to our own needs rather than respecting its intrinsic dignity? This is the real problem that we need to think about. Well, as genetic science becomes more advanced and more complicated, there's a whole host of ethical issues that are at stake become more difficult to navigate. As you imply here, there's more gray area. So what advice do you have to Catholics who support scientific innovation but also want to defend the dignity of human life? Well, it's important to remember that every technology can be misused, and that's not a reason to deny ourselves the benefits that can come from that technology. CRISPR is probably going to have a great impact on human beings' health. At the same time, we need to be very concerned about the experimental sources or human embryos being used in doing basic research that's leading to CRISPR technology. And we have to be concerned about the objects of that research are human embryos being used in a way that transforms them contrary to their dignity and especially in the context of in vitro fertilization. We need to be very concerned about that happening. It is a concerning issue and one that we will continue to follow. It can be a complicated issue with all of the terminology. So Dr. Christopher Tollefson, professor of philosophy at the University of South Carolina, thanks so much for breaking it down for us. My pleasure. Thank you.